Kalagan. Ako si Kalagan Fritz at ito ang Laagan sa Subo. Don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel at Laagan sa Subo and click the bell button for notification. Like our official Facebook page at Laagan sa Subo. It's another pageant episode and another pageant queen na naman ang machichikahan natin sa araw na to. Help me welcome Mutya ng Pilipinas who will be representing Cebu. We have Miss Mackay de la Cruz. Hello, sir. Hello, my It's Kay. nice to see you again. Love ka talaga ng laagan si Subo. Oh, hello, mga kalagan. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, Mackay, how was the competition so far in Mutya ng Pilipinas? I have shared so many moments and bondings with my Cebuana sisters, my Visaya sisters. So, I have been bonding with them. We had photo shoots and we've also had workshops. We actually came from a makeup workshop earlier and I did my own makeup today. Ah, in fairs, kailangan nyo yan. Kasi yes. who knows, you will be one of the queens of Mutia ng Pilipinas. Kayo-kayo na lang yung pupunta ng international, eh, ba? Diba? Hopefully. Alright, now, the first segment na alam ko naman na alam mo na alam to, pero nakakaiba yung mga question ngayon is the boiling question. Alright. But the question is, Are you ready? No other choice but to be ready. Great! Now, so, pick your first boiling question. Alright. Alright, okay. Oh. Your first boiling question is, What are your thoughts and sentiments on the advocacy, My Body, My Choice? So, you know, when we hear, My Body, My Choice, it all comes down to how you see yourself, how you perceive yourself. And I think that once you see yourself as someone who is strong and independent, and also when you see yourself as a person who has something that other people don't have, someone who doesn't let discrimination get to them. Because I think the reason why people are stereotyped into very many body types, shapes, may it be shape, size, or color, it is because of other people's perspective. So I think the only solution to saying that it's your body and it's your choice is by accepting who you are at the end of the day because it's who you are and what you are it is your body and it is your choice because at the end of the day it is yours yes right? absolutely correct yes this is me i love myself yes. Deba. Mm -hmm. okay pick your next boiling question okay. all right your next boiling question is What is the strength of your generation to survive the tribe that challenges today? I think the qualities that our generation has today is resiliency. I mean, it has been present for so many years already, but I think our generation has learned so much from the past generations, and I think that we are using what we have learned to do better this time. And I okay. think that's what we, we have and what we are capable of doing for us today and for the future generations to come. Absolutely. Resilience. Correct. Especially Cebuanas. Yes. Diba? <laughs> okay. Take your next boiling question. All right. Okay. Your next boiling question is, other beauty pageant already accept married women. Do you think it is also time for Mutya ng Pilipinas organization to accept married women yes or not and why well for me personally i know that the miss universe pageant has already accepted mm -hmm. married women and single mothers but currently i don't think Mutianang pilipinas are accepting those um types of women mm -hmm. but i think it's also high time that since inclusivity is already on its way yes i think it's also about time that we accept all women and when saying all women it also means single mothers and mm -hmm. married women so yes, i think if they're if they have the other qualifications like you know the capability to be on stage and join the beauty pageant then why not if okay. they are capable then i think they should if they're capable if kaya pa nila, yes. if if they can handle it between a, being, being a, a mom mother, and, and then also yes. a pageant if they're able not? to balance the time if they're able to take care of their their child while being committed to a pageant then i don't think there's a problem with that my point to jen okay pick your last but not the least boiling question all right, all right. your last but not the least boiling question is studies say that Filipinos are one of the happiest people on earth. Why is this so? 
despite the huge challenges Filipinos face every day? Well, at, for me, it all comes back down to resiliency again. Mm -hmm. You know, despite having so many struggles in life, we Filipinos always try to see the good out of every situation. Like, even if we go through calamities, we still rise up and still continue to think and see positively that we, ha we still have a future and we can rise up from all those challenges that we face. And I think that us Filipinos, especially Cebuanos, <laughs> we are resilient. And Correct. I think that every single thing that we do that ev or every mistake that we have gone through is a learning curve for us to grow and be better as individuals and as a whole and as a whole Filipino community and as a whole country as well. Absolutely correct. Now, I have a question, a bonus question. All right. When you say Cebu, it's a big sash. Mm -hmm. Is it pressure in your end bringing the Cebu sash? It is definitely such a big pressure because I have been a Cebuana and I've represented Cebu once, but I didn't make the cut on my previous national pageant where I represented Cebu. Mm -hmm. But now, I'm very, very proud and I will do my best to perform and do well in this competition and hopefully I will be back here in Cebu with the crown. Oh, manifesting! manifesting. <laughs> <laughs> One of the crowns of Utiana Filipinas 2022. Yes. Okay, the questions are getting more hotter and hotter and interesting. But before we proceed to our next segment, I would like to thank first our sponsor, The Center C. Thank you very much for the accommodation. And I would like to personally thank also Bin Leaf and Alberto's Pizza for our food today. Thank you very much. And I would like to personally thank Timplora Dermatoleka for always making me fresh because I am Timplora Dutch. Now, alam kung nasubukan mo na to. Pero nakakaibang fast talk ito. But, ang tanong, are you ready? Yes, I am ready. Okay. Fast talk. Rice or bread? Rice. Morning or night? Night. Skirt or shorts? Short. Kiss or hug? Hug. Long or short? Short. Dine in, dine out? Dine in. Sweet or sexy? Sweet. Intelligence or sense of humor? Intelligence with a sense of humor. Oh, why not? What makes you excited? Um, food. What makes you happy? Food. Favorite Pinoy food? Nilat ang baboy. Zarap yan! Okay. I am Nake and I am... Redirected. Ah, I like that. And I think it's interesting ang story ni Maki na yan. Redirected. Yes. All right, can you please invite our Laogan to Cebu viewers where we can follow you, your social media platform, and how we can support you for the upcoming Mutia ng Pilipinas 2023. And right. who would you like to say thank you? Go ahead. All right, so once again, my name is Daniel Maki Owano de Cruz, and I am representing Cebu City for this year's search for Mutia ng Pilipinas 2022. You can follow me and add me on my social media platforms, Facebook, Maki de la Cruz, and Instagram at Maki de la Cruz. I would also like to thank my sponsors. I would like to grab this opportunity to thank them. Go. Go mm -hmm. ahead, Nayan. Skin 911 Medical for my skin care. IDC or Ibon Dental Clinic for my dental care. Miss Keith Bakayo for my beautiful dress. Mom Girly Ruiz of Sun Deemer Gym and Fit and Flow Gym, Basak Mandawa City. Iconic Mall. Miss Shane Lee Ann for my gown during the coronation night. Oh. NV Music Lounge. Um, Kalandahang Flores, hello Tito Roj, um, and of course to the Cebu City Mayor, Mayor Michael Rama, Vice Mayor Raymond Garcia for the quick response to our request, um, Cebu City Councilor Don Don Ontiveros and Councilor Joel Garganera, um, Sir J.R. Yosores of the MY Events, Miss mm -hmm. Faith Semblante, Irene Gitgano, Sir Noel Inez, and of course my makeup artist and handler Miss Jana Fernan, and of course, our very beautiful Mutiana Filipina Cebu director, Ms. Ange Gomez. I see, Diva. I love the national director, Naren. <laughs> okay, so once again, Makalagan, our Mutiana Filipinas 2022, who will be representing the Queen City of the South, Cebu. We have Daniel McKay de la Cruz. Thank you very much for the 
third or fourth time around? Probably the fourth. Po. I think. Yes, the but Laga sa Subu really loves you talaga. Thank you, Thank so you much, very much for guesting it. here again, and also congratulations for being part of Mutiana Pilipinas 2023. And good luck for your upcoming coronation. Thank you so much for having me once again for the. I don't know what yes. <laughs> how many times I've been here, but thank you so much. Huh? Hindi, hindi ako magsasawa sa laga sa Subo. Ayan, thank you very much. Alright, and also don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel at Lagan sa Subo and click the bell button for notification. Like our official Facebook page at Lagan sa Subo. You may also follow me on my TikTok account, Instagram, and Facebook at Fritz Gerald Alcaraz. Once again, ako si Kalagan Fritz nagsasabi, stay safe. Be a responsible Kalagan and this is Lagan La Sa Subo. Subo.